Hi and welcome to Quirky Books with Katie. Today I'm going to be reviewing the book The Young Elites by Marie Lu. Now Marie Lu also wrote the Legend series which consists of Legend, Prodigy, and Champion and that is one of my favorite series of all time. So when Penguin contacted me and asked if I wanted to review this book I said yes of course. So this book was sent to me by Penguin. And this is Ma Marie Lu's first step into fantasy. And this book has multiple points of view, but the main character is a girl named Adelina. And in this complex world, I will try to explain it as well as I can, a few years back there was this blood fever that so many people were infected with, but the only people that survived were children. Now, the children that survived this fever ended up with some very strange markings. Some people have weird color hair, different eyes, things like that, and ever since then, the society has called these children Malfettos, and they believe that they are cursed. So these Malfettos are kind of treated as, like, second-class citizens. No one really wants to associate with them. And the main character of this book, Adelina, is a Malfetto. And she has always been treated differently by her father. And she has a younger sister who has not been, who is not infected with the disease. And Adelina kind of resents her. So at the start of this book, Adelina is sentenced to death. Because something that is also wrong with these Malfettos is that they have powers. Some of them manifest different powers and they all have different names and they are they make up the society called the Young Elites, hence the title of the book. And that plays a role in Adelina's life and the story kind of goes from there. Now I really ended up enjoying this book. I knew that I was going to enjoy it because I love Marie Lu and her writing and I really ended up enjoying this book. Some of my favorite things about this book, as always, well characters. I really love how our main character, Adelina, isn't your typical hero. Marie, Marie Lou even describes her as a bit of an anti-hero. Just because she doesn't always do what's right, she really worries about herself. And she does have a very dark heart, which is really interesting to read about because so many heroes in YA are just the hero and they always do right and I really loved learning more about the anti-hero. Some people even call her a villain. I feel like Adelina is going to be a really interesting character to discuss because I feel like some people will like her more than others. I liked her. I really admired how she followed her heart and didn't really care about anything else. Now the other points of view that we get to see in this book is a boy named Enzo and he is in charge of the young elites and I really liked his character I thought that it was really interesting and the other character that we get to see from their point of view is a man named Taryn and he is kind of in charge of rounding up these Malfettos I didn't like his character I didn't really see his motivation for why he wanted to go around and kill people but I feel like in the other books in the series we'll get to see more about him and maybe learn some more about him some of my other favorite characters included Violetta, who is the main character's sister, and Raphael, I believe his name is, and he ends up becoming friends with Adelina, and I liked his character as well. Considering the fact that this is Marie Lu's first steps into fantasy, I thought that this book was really well done. I loved the concept. And I thought it was really interesting, kind of the ideas of people with different powers. I feel like it was explained in a really cool way. And I really want to see how this kind of grows as the series goes on. This was very much the typical first book in a fantasy series, where it's a lot of setup. And it's very small on the spectrum of what could be happening in the world. And... I'm really interested to see where Marie Lu kind of takes the series from here because I do have a couple of ideas but I'm not exactly sure where it's going to go and I'm really interested to see that. So I ended up giving this book a four, four and a half out of five stars. I really liked it. I just wish that there was more. This is often a problem with Marie Lu. 
For me, I love Marie Lu's books, but the only problem I have with her books is they're not very long. This book was only 330 pages. I would have liked to have seen more. I would have liked to have seen more world development and more character development. All and I am very excited to see where the series goes from here. So now I'm just going to talk about spoilers for a little bit. So if you haven't read the book, read the, read the book, come back and discuss. Okay. So, of course, I have to talk about the ending. I was reading the end of this book in school, which was probably not the smartest idea. I was taking an economics test, and everyone else was done with their, was deal, still working on their tests, and I was reading this, and this was my face. I almost started crying in the middle of class. Like, this ending was just so much bam, bam, bam. So much happened from Adelina attacking people, and then she ended up killing... Enzo and I was really upset about that because I liked his character I liked their dynamic together although I don't know about you guys but I do think that we will see more of him in the future books because especially at the end of that character who I'm pretty sure she can resurrect people from the dead but there's a lot of weird consequences so I'm gonna be interested to see where Marie Lou goes from there also, the idea of Adelina and her sister kind of starting a new order, the Order of Roses, I believe. I don't really know how that's going to go because I feel like a lot of the people with powers are kind of going to end up being aligned with Raphael. And I'm also interested to see what happens to Adelina and Raphael's friendship because I really loved their dynamic as well. Her dynamic with Raphael was very different from her dynamic with Enzo. And I am basically just really excited to see where this goes from here. If you've read this, then let me know in the comments down below if you liked it, where you think the world is going to go from here. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you again soon.